I've always wanted to play a Swiss Merc only run, actually since 1.30 when they last updated Switzerland, but boy am I glad I waited because they managed to make Swiss Mercs even more broken than they were before. Conveniently, I also haven't done Switzer Lake yet, so there's really no better time. Alright, Switzerland, what are we looking at right now? Autonomous Swiss Cantons, free policy. That's actually really good. Mercenary manpower plus 50%, not bad, but reduced governing capacity. Eh, well, it could be worse. I do remember these missions not being particularly great. A lot of them are, uh, not permanent modifiers, which makes them kind of mid at best. But I'm just glad Switzerland has a mission tree at all. Okay, rivals. Seems we don't really have a lot of choice here. As for estates, it doesn't look like we have anything particularly special. So I'll just go for the regular stuff. Oh, this is really good. Institutionalized clergy. 15 papal influence for a little bit of prestige and Republican tradition. I'll take that. You know, usually I would take increased levies, but we don't need that, do we? <laughs> so I'm not going to be using regular manpower at all. Okay, I think that works. Let's disband the army. Well, be needing that. Okay, we're going to need one stability and 90% of the force limit. Force limit is 11. We can't really hire that many mercenaries. We have to get three stacks. Okay, let's start with the free company. And we're going to need a whole lot of money to get the rest. Let's try and make some friends with France. That would be great. Thank you. Yep, that's good. Okay, let's see. That's a lot of manpower for the free company. <laughs> 13,000. That's more than we have in total. Not bad. Okay, other mercenary groups. I guess we could go with Flemish company. Like these guys, they have good shock. Also, hiring these mercenary companies did not seem to decrease my professionalism, which is kind of weird. Yep, still 10%. I don't know. Anyway, we finished this mission off. One that gives us cores on these provinces and these ones over here. Looks like Savoy's not having a great time, which is good for me because I kind of want those cores. Although there's a real chance that Burgundy might take them, which would suck. Savoy's been excommunicated. Interesting. Everybody hates this guy. <laughs> there is one thing to be said for mercenaries, and that's having a whole lot of leaders to pick from. Also, they have so much manpower. It's ridiculous. I guess I could assault as many forts I want because there's so much manpower I don't care, right? There's no problem with me just assaulting this right now other than, well, you know, dying, but it's not like I have to worry about manpower. Oh, that's awkward. <laughs> they took everything, everything I wanted. They stole everything from me. Oh god, that's really bad. Wait, steel and burgundy? Seriously? Oh man, I don't think you can get a worse start than that. I'll just take money. We can go to war with these guys instead. Let's not forget we do kind of want some mill advisor. Alright, let's go, lads. Several bad rolls later. Solid, we like that. Hey, we take a out these guys and we'll take out those guys more money thank you it's a little bit expensive but i think it's necessary for now mm, being friends with bohemia could be nice okay sure and we'll keep this guy of course should be pretty easy defense there we go we'll chase down this guy yeah this is always a fun first war to fight okay that capital's been taken we might have a chance to siege this uh, how many people do you have maybe nine thousand. okay well we can give it a chance okay, well we do have the next hex so we should be able to win this just fine there we go and if i could grab it that would be great but apparently Apparently not. Okay, that's fine. I would like to grab this in this first tour just because it's a mountain fort. That would be really nice. Please, if I begged. There we go. Thank you. Now what I should do is I should scorch it and maybe walk into... I can't walk there. All oh, right, there's a fort there. I guess I could leave or something. I don't know. See if they'll move on to it. There we go. Perfect. Thank you. Glorious. Okay, could we maybe grab this capital as well? 100% would be nice. It's not like I can fight a lot of wars, so money has to come from somewhere. Perfect. Okay, so it seems my professionalism isn't going down, even though I hired like five merc companies and I don't know why that is. So in this case, I don't really feel that bad about grabbing this army professionalism. In fact, Milan would probably be willing to give up quite a lot right about now. Yeah, full money, war reps, pretty much everything, plus the province, that seems really nice. And to humiliate. Okay, cool. I'll take that. Thank you. And of course, these two provinces. Yoink. All right, integrate the three leagues. A little bit more tax in Switzerland. Wait, is that the whole area? Oh, I'll take that for sure. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I'm going to need a new rival. I guess we'll go with Provence because we'll probably eclipse them pretty easily. We should improve relations with England and ally Bohemia since we can do that. Why not? We'll ally up with Pope Man because we have a mission for that later down the line. Geneva's rivaled me. That's interesting. Okay, I guess we could rival them back. We get France on my side, but against Burgundy and Castile, looking kind of unlikely. I'm pretty sure we have a cardinal, right? Yes, in Bern. Perfect. We just got Immensa Eterni Dei, this one. So Renaissance should be no problem. Okay, it appears for some reason that Hungary also doesn't like Austria. Austria. So if I could get Hungary, Bohemia, and France to help me beat up Austria, I would be very, very happy. That would be the funniest thing I could do today. Oh, wait a second. It looks like England just gave up Maine. Huh. Okay. Wait, what's up with Burgundy? Who's this? Who's Agnes? Huh? Okay, I'm getting the impression Burgundy's not going to get inherited. I don't know what to feel about that. Oh, okay, never mind. So Milan just allied up with Geneva. That's perfect. So we don't have to attack Geneva. We can just attack Milan. And we could use France for that, so that works. Come on, Hungary. I know you don't like Austria 
upgrade that much, please, bud. Okay, we have the Renaissance and it is expensive to accept. I think we'll get rid of this guy. I'll shuffle out a little bit of my debt, pay off all the 1% loans, then I'll take them again. And then we can embrace, take these, and I can pay off some of the higher percent loans. Come on, please, Hungary. It would be so funny. Okay, I could rival Austria. Would that help? I think that might help a little bit. Damn, still nothing. All right, fine. We'll take the national ideas. Of course, that's going to be mercenary ideas because we're really broke and I really want to pay less. Oh, there we go. Yes, Hungary. Thank you. Okay, now you have a truce with Austria. Oh, okay. Only for a little bit. You do want Austrian land. So like, what if I went like this? It would have zero because they're in debt. Oh my God, please. We can't let debt get in the way of the funniest thing I could do early game. Please, Hungary, please get your economy together. Okay, tier three reform, obviously frequent elections. That's a no brainer. Wait, who's that? <laughs> no way. Nah, it can't be this easy. It can't seriously be this easy. I can't believe it. It's actually going to be this easy. All right, allons-y. More like allons, we should get out of here. That was a really bad idea. Okay, I'm a little bit of a broke boy, so the best I can do is sit here and siege, but that's okay. We take that. It's kind of weird how I don't get any power projection for declaring war on Austria. Like, they're too powerful to be my rival. So don't you think declaring war on them would be even more of a Chad move? I can't rival them, not because they're too weak, but they're literally too strong. I don't get it. Weird stuff. Okay, I'm going to try and get them to move on to this fort here by moving a little bit, see if they'll take the bait. But I guess not. Okay, fine. We can piece some people out. Okay, you, I want your territory. You, I guess you can just like give me stuff. I'll get like one ducket out of this. <laughs> That's so sad. There should be a wipe. Maybe. No wipe. There it is. Okay, I want your full annexation, your money, and war reps. Thank you. Augsburg, I don't really care. You a free city? No? Okay, we'll take you later. This stuff's fine. I guess I should be friends with Hesse a little bit, even though they don't really matter. Super weak emperor. All right, I'll take the Merc maintenance, which should give us more discipline and manpower for mercenaries as well. Maintenance is now down by 30% as opposed to the usual plus 10%, meaning mercenaries at this point, I think, are actually cheaper than regular units, at least for now. All right, beautiful. That was the most perfect war I could have imagined to start off with. I'll give that to Hungary. They'll be happy with it. It's a little bit of aggressive expansion, but that's okay. Beautiful. Switzerland is growing. We also grabbed this gold mine here. Perfect. Austria has now rivaled us, which makes sense. Speaking of rivals, we should probably make fun of ours. There you go. Your country stinky. Yeah, 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 yeah. Slight coalition. It's fine. It's just a couple of people. How is this guy still alive? 76 years old. All right, I guess we'll just keep him. We'll keep him as long as we can. Okay, everything is pretty much stated now. We should get at least a little bit of money out of this gold mine. There we go. Eight ducats a month. That's not awful. We'll go ahead and sanction Dynasty to get some more Republican tradition. That's always useful. And then in tile, I think I'm actually going to go in dev a little bit. Okay, let me go ahead and get rid of this free company. I think we can get a larger one. And we can pick up the grand company. Army professionalism still not changing and I'm really confused. Is that a Swiss thing? I haven't played Switzerland enough to understand. Well, this one over here says mercenary companies no longer reduce army professionalism when hired, but we don't have that yet, so I'm kind of confused. Oh, I could ally Hesse right now? Sure, I'll take that. Damn, there goes that guy. All right, I guess we'll grab the military candidate just so we can finish off those ideas. Intel gets Schwarz silver mine until the end of the game. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Is that like five Diplo dev right there for free? Uh, yeah, I'll take that. Might even build a castle on that gold mine. That's pretty important. I, I can't believe it. I'm just checking the free company and yeah, that has more manpower in it than all of France. Yeah, cool. Hungary is done with that war. I'm thinking we're going to go ahead and fight Milan. We can bring everyone in again. It would be super overkill, but like, I don't care. It's really funny. <laughs> we'll just go and burn down Austria again. Wait, why does France specifically want Milan? Wait, do you have a CB on them? Restoration of Union. Yeah, that happens. Well, before you force me into that, I'm going to force you into this. There we go. We're in a war with Pope Man, so mercenaries are less expensive for the next 20 years. Perfect. And since we have three mercenary companies and a whole lot of money, we get the Swiss Home Guard Mercs. All right, what's up with you, Swiss Home Guard Mercs? 5% discipline. They're not that big. They are relatively cheap. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, this is my chance to get Geneva as well. I should definitely take that. Oh, come on. Really, France? I mean, it's not like I can really take that much in this war. All right, these guys. Okay, how about we go ahead and take Justified Wars? Why not? Let's say E would be nice. We actually have so much money, I could start building a couple of churches. Yes, Geneva, I will be taking all of that. Some people are upset, but those are my cores, so uh, relax. Okay, maybe this isn't my core. Oh, no, it is my core. Oh, okay. Oh, they surrendered. That's boring. All right, well, Naples, uh, I'll also just like take money war reps. That's cool. That works for me. Austria, same thing, except I'm going to wait for Wien. Man, my trade sucks, doesn't it? This has to be the worst possible place for trade. I'm stuck between, what is that? Four, five, 
five trade nodes? This is some hot garbage. <laughs> okay, Austria, war reps, money, you know the drill. And then Milan, if I take the capital, how bad is that? That's pretty bad. Maybe I shouldn't take the capital. Okay, fine, not this time. Money, war reps, humiliate, you're getting off easy. All right, I guess I don't need one of these alliances. Uh, we'll go with Pope, man. Sorry, Pope. Not you, it's me. I just need to be allied to the emperor so I get less demands for imperial territory. All right, let's see. I usually go with lands for the church, but that would be a slight problem for us right now. Okay, what if I just like, what if I curtail their influence just a little bit? Ooh, <laughs> I'm starting to like this. I'm starting to like that a lot. That is a three-star general. I think I might start hiring the good companies. I mean, it's so cheap to have the ones we have right now, but if I'm getting three-star generals, I could be persuaded. All right, lands who no longer a rival will go for Austria. Allied with Poland. Really? That's kind of annoying. I'm sure the Alliance can probably beat Poland. Maybe? If we can't, it would be pretty sad. I mean, France, Bohemia, Hungary, and myself against Poland and Lithuania and Austria. We could probably win. All right, more infantry combat ability, plus we get tolerance of heretics. And yeah, mercenaries no longer costing army professionalism as if they did at all, but okay. Oh my god, you're joking. Bro, the jewelry of Intel has become increasingly sought after. That's four goods per Produce. Who needs an actual economy when you have one gold province producing half of it? You know what? I'll just go ahead and dev that some more. Why not? Bring that up to 11 dev. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Trade? Never heard of it. Can I interest you in some gold though? Yeah, I think I'll get rid of these smaller companies. I'll hire some with really good generals. Although, wow, these are really small companies. Thought I would get something of at least a decent size. I guess this isn't bad. I'll go ahead and take mercenary manpower. Very nice. More mercenary discipline as well. Now I can drill mercenary units, which is that going to give me professionalism as well? Because that makes very little sense, but huh, what do you know? So that's just about four ducats for an army of 23,000 people. And drilling doesn't cost any extra. And reinforcements don't cost much extra. This is turning out to be a lot better than I thought it would. Plus the manpower is absolutely ridiculous. Like this is pretty much 100,000 people in just three armies. No country on earth has even close to that manpower right now. Although I imagine this is going to be a much worse strategy as time goes on mercenaries become more expensive and all that but early game sheesh all right how about we take a stroll into burgundy so i can retake that one core oh my god it's so one-sided <laughs> didn't even leave him a chance oh uh dad yeah, that's that's not good hold on we can probably hold on long enough there we go there we are lads <laughs> oh yeah i am not taking that top option i would much sooner lose professionalism all right we'll take that uh could we stomp on england maybe probably not but we can go after Paris. We should be able to stomp Burgundy. Or not. This could be really bad too. Uh, yikes. Oh, you took the next Miltech. I did not take the next Miltech. That explains a lot, actually. Okay, we're gonna leave this. You know what? Yeah, this company kind of sucks. It takes too long to get its morale back. It's gonna hire a new company, I think. I'll get the home guard. Although, yeah, that's not a very good general. Hmm. Well, it could be worse. Alright, let's see what we can do about that. Ooh, this might actually be a bad battle. They're on tech 7. Everyone's on tech 7. Okay, maybe not. It kind of depends. Okay, it could be worse. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we also have no cavalry. <laughs> I kind of forgot about that part. Okay, anyway, they're going to take that back, so I'll just annex it. Whoops. Hey, England, please leave. Please, England. If I begged, no, they're not leaving. Oh, okay, these guys. We'll have fun sieging. That's 62% uh, defensiveness, so good luck. Bro, what? How did you even... Where did you come from? Okay, Palatinate. Uh, war reps. Ooh, how about you actually get rid of that alliance? Thanks, that's cool. And war reps, maybe? Yeah, and war reps. Nice, thank you. <laughs> now you're black flagged, idiot. I knew it. I knew it would work. <laughs> Ooh, don't want to fight those guys. I really wish I could see like a cost of war thing. Like how in Victoria 3 you can see how much money a country has spent on war. I wish I could see that. That would be really funny. Ooh, I could actually take this. But I would also like to end that alliance. Maybe I can just siege this over here. Hmm. This might actually be a bigger problem than I thought it would be. That problem being England. Oh, they're gonna attack France. Don't do it. Please don't do it. Come on, man. Oh, France the goat. But England still won't leave. Oh, pain. Pain and suffering. Okay, listen. France. 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 Listen to me. Listen to me closely. You know what we have to do, France. France, you know what we have to do. Wait, when do we get there? They leave on the 5th. We get there on like the 8th. Okay, that works. That works. France. France, you know what we have to do. We have to do it, France. Yes. Yes. Perfect. 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 Maybe perfect. I don't actually know. It's looking really good. Okay. Good. Yes. All right, France, you know what we have to do? We have to go for Paris. Don't go Don't go for this. Don't do it. France, you're stupid. Okay, fine. We're going for this then. <sighs> Honestly, AI these days. Wait, why isn't this army coming with us? Wait, what? France? We can fight 
these guys. Come on, France. I don't know. France, France, what are you doing? France, please help me. Oh, we're not doing a half bad job, though. We just have no cavalry. Okay, good. Fix up all the men. Second battle incoming. Come on, France. Come on, boy. Oh, God, it's looking really bad. We're not going to win this. Yeah, it's over. We have no good rolls. Okay, we have to leave. <gasps> England says to leave. Wait, 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 wait. Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay, we're looking pretty good, but I don't think I want to fight anymore. Oh my god, over 100,000 casualties on each side. Hey, you know what? That's like three provinces, a little bit of money, war reps. I think I'll just take it. Thank you. All right, that gives us a little bit more dev. Sway Geneva. Oh, right. Well, we kind of killed him instead, and that's fine. Now we just need a second stability, and we should be able to finish this off for more claims and cheaper advisors for the rest of the game. The overextension isn't really that bad. I might as well do that right now. It is like a little bit cheaper than usual, so why not? Okay, advisor costs, extra claims. Yeah, that's pretty much everything we can do for now. All right, I think we're going to keep this guy since we have max tradition. He is 52, though. Kind of old, but oh well. All right, this is the reform I've been waiting for. Tier 5, baby. Swiss mercenaries. Okay. Mercenary militarization. At max power, we get 10% discipline and 25% mercenary manpower. Oh, it's a little bit disappointing. <laughs> the discipline's nice. I was hoping to get cheaper mercenaries, but it is what it is. I think for for now, having them cheaper is actually a better idea. All right, the reform itself also reduces the cost, increases the discipline, and increases the leader army tradition modifier. So now we have 83% for that, which is great. I mean, our army tradition kind of sucks, but you know, if it didn't suck, it would be pretty awesome. Anyway, uh, I think we're going to reduce the influence of the clergy. Let's see. Uh, apparently, I can click this button. I can take the clergy agenda, and then I can click this to complete the clergy agenda. And then I can remove religious diplomacy mats because that was a really bad idea and i might remove this as well okay i'm gonna get rid of the stack it's pretty small i'll hire someone else instead actually i could use a little bit of cavalry couldn't i and i should always be drilling because there's no downside to drilling i'm paying for them anyway okay next idea group might be a little bit unusual i was thinking court ideas just for fun they do give more republican tradition and some nice bonuses but most importantly they also reduce the mercenary cost by another 33 percent so i thought that would be nice now i do have a lot of extra mill power. I guess I could start spamming out generals for professionalism. Or, you know, I do need a little bit more force limits, so I guess I could dev a little bit. Well, I don't really have much else to do. I might as well attack the HRE again. Alright, let's see how good these mercenaries really are. Okay, not bad. We take that. That's pretty good. <laughs> okay, how many problems could I make in one war? Could annex Savoy? That would cause a problem. I could annex Constance. Ooh, that would cause a problem for sure. I love problems. What if I full annex you? Oh, even better. That's looking spicy. Okay, maybe that's a bit too much. I am going to annex the free city though. Yoink. Savoy. I guess you guys can just stay there. That's fine. The Palatinate. Eh, I guess that's fine. And then this guy. Hmm. It'd be pretty cool to full annex you, but also not a very good idea. Okay, what if I took like that? That's probably fine, right? That's probably okay. Then we'll just come back later. All right, just a slight coalition. Just a tiny one. It's fine. Don't even worry about it. Oh, yeah. Yes, my favorite event. We can debase, get some Republican tradition, and lose that corruption. There we go. We've gotten a couple people to leave the coalition. That's a good start. I mean, like, these guys don't really hate me. They only, like, kind of hate me. A little bit. I'm sure I could convince them that I'm the good guy, and that's why I won. They just don't understand I'm the main character. All right, Savoy. Uh, I actually do want to declare on you a little bit, so we should probably do that. Yeah, just because it's free land, might as well. All right. Where are all the cannons? There are a few. There's the rest. Yeah, one problem with mercenaries is uh, you can't split them. I remember back in the day you could. Those were good times. But nowadays, if I need artillery, I'm just gonna have to send the entire Merc army. At least I don't pay for reinforcements. That's good. And they have plenty of manpower, so it's not really that big of a problem. Okay, let's go ahead and annex them. Yeah, it's a slight problem, but that's okay. Okay, I wasn't gonna mention the previous stability event, but getting two in a row, that's, uh, that's a little bit suspicious. Okay, well, I'm definitely gonna take the third stability. You just don't see that very often. Okay, that's the rest of the court idea. Purely Republican tradition, plus we get reduced mercenary cost. I think we're going to end up at a point where the cost is actually cheaper than the maintenance. <laughs> this mercenary company is the price of like four infantry. And that's with overextension and inflation. Wait, this is like minus 110%. I don't think it gets cheaper than this. I just checked and that formula.
formula looks really complicated and I can't be bothered to try and understand it, so I'm just gonna assume we're at the base cost. I don't think it gets cheaper than that. What's also really funny about this whole thing is, now that I think about it, I'm like draining mercenaries out of Europe. When I hire these companies, other people cannot hire these companies. <laughs> I am stealing these companies from them. I'm sorry, what? Knights Separatist in Switzerland? What? Why? I don't understand. Okay. Damn. Dude finally died. It was so close to being there for 25 years. Oh well. He did a good job. Since I'm not going to be playing for very long, I just dev up my capital to 30 so I can take the golden era. A okay, new pope. Genoa, you know what to do. Come on, Genoa. Thank you. Okay, perfect. I've managed to bribe, I mean convince the HRE into leaving the coalition by promising that I quote, absolutely, definitely won't attack any of them ever again. I promise. Trust me, bro. Now that being said, we should attack Austria. Burgundy's a great power. I mean, okay, I guess in some way. Oh man, everyone's broke. We can't even fight this war right now. What's your problem? Fighting Burgundy? Bro. Yeah, that's a pretty bad one. And you're fighting England? That's rough. That's real rough. Okay, well, what's wrong with Hungary? You're broke? Well, how about you just stop being broke then? Seems like a pretty easy solution. There you go. All right, this isn't the smartest thing I've ever done, but it certainly will be the most entertaining. Well, let's just see what happens. Just to see how powerful this whole thing is, I think I'm gonna maximize this militarization thing. Damn, not enough money. That sucks. Let me just sell some titles. Perfect. It's beautiful. 25% mercenary discipline. I'll be honest, in most games, I don't even get 25% regular discipline. These guys are gonna hit like trucks. <laughs> oh yeah, I can also barrage an assault and the manpower isn't an issue because there are 62,000 people. <laughs> Here we go, easy. Then we can just go and recover the manpower. All right, go lads. Rain fury upon them. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's disgusting. <laughs> All right, what are the chances we stack wipe this army? They're on tech eight. I'm on tech nine. Let's find out. Oh my God. Turns out it's a hundred percent. Poor Poland never even stood a chance. Absolutely tragic. Oh my God. <laughs> 114,000 casualties in a year. Really starting to enjoy this whole mercenary thing. All right, well, seeing as I don't actually want anything from Poland, I just wanted to test my army. We'll take max money, war reps, a couple of alliances, I guess. That's cool. As for Austria, I'll just take, like, this stuff, I guess. Is that cool? Yeah, that's cool. Doink. And I can embrace the institution. All right, we're a great power, not bad. Number four great power, in fact. That's pretty impressive. And I think that would be a good place to end off for today. I honestly didn't expect the merch to be that powerful, although there was that one one tech advantage, tech 9 versus tech 8 for Poland and Lithuania, which definitely exaggerated the results a little bit, but still, that's 25% discipline on all of those mercenary stacks. If I wanted to, I could have found the discipline advisor to get 130% discipline, and if I really wanted to keep on playing, then I could have gone through infrastructure ideas to get another 5% mercenary discipline and finished off my Swiss ideas to get another 5%, which means yeah, we could have gotten like 140% discipline on each of these guys. That would be pretty cool. But maybe a, a little bit overkill. <laughs> anyway, there is a real possibility of me continuing this run to go for the Switzer-like achievement. I left that open because I didn't want to, you know, ruin the entire run and just leave it like that. So if this video gets around, let's say, two, two and a half, let's go for two and a half thousand likes. Two thousand likes I'll consider, but two and a half thousand for sure. I'll make a second half trying to grab Switzer-like in this absolute aggressive expansion hellhole of the NHR. Who knows, I might even have to dismantle it just to give myself a little edge. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching. This is Corbett signing off, and as always, have a fantastic day. Big thanks to the patrons this month, especially Yeo, Baby Cal, Q Brute, Quiet Guy, Torvald, Robert Kaleno, Ambient Cyan, James Levy, Chewy Shoot, The Watcher, and Brova. For just $1, you can join the Patreon and get early access to videos. 